Hi, welcome to Argus Monthly Cold Wrap. I am Ajay Modi, an associate editor based in Singapore and covering solid fuels. I will run you through the latest on Indonesian coal market and factors supporting a recovery in the Indonesian coal prices. Indonesian coal prices have increased in the recent weeks after being pressured during July and August. Indonesian low and mid CV coal prices have increased approximately 15% from their August lows, primarily supported by a return of Chinese demand and tighter supplies. Let me spend some time on the Chinese market fundamentals. We are seeing a return of Chinese demand for seaborne coal as domestic coal supplies have been constrained by COVID-19 curves in major coal producing provinces. Intensified safety checks at mines ahead of the October Congress have also hit local supplies. Chinese utilities have been active in the seaborne market, seeking September and October loading cargoes to replenish stocks ahead of the October Congress meet. Some power plants are also beginning to consider building inventories for a potentially colder than usual winter. We have seen many countries dealing with record high temperatures and heat waves this year and the situation is not very different in China. China reported higher than usual coal burns recently as droughts in parts of the country curtailed hydropower generation. Chinese power demand was exceptionally robust this summer as higher temperatures spurred the use of air conditioning and boosted residential electricity demand even as industrial consumption was weak. Certain Chinese provinces were forced to announce temporary rationing of electricity recently. Coming to Indonesian coal supplies, we see that availability of spot cargoes are under pressure with authorities asking producers to raise supplies for domestic consumption. Inclement weather, including rains and heavy swells in some parts of key Kalimantan region, is affecting mining and coal logistics. Leading Indonesian miners are running behind their 2022 production targets and have reported output decline on the year during the first half of the year. Indonesia's largest coal producer, Bumi Resources, produced 34.5 million tons of coal in the first half of this year, down by 14% from a year earlier. Meanwhile, in India, the second largest market for Indonesian coal, buyers have been on the sidelines due to monsoon rains, but demand for post-monsoon cargoes is expected to pick up in the coming weeks. This, together with steady Chinese demand, can potentially offer further support to Indonesian coal prices. And that is all we have for this month's coal market wrap. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.